Hey, welcome back to ECG Kid Portal, where we break down complex ICU stuff so it finally makes sense. Today, let's tackle something every intern dreads reading chest x-rays. Specifically, how to spot a pneumothorax in under five seconds. Yep, five seconds. Once you know what to look for, it's that quick. So what exactly is a pneumothorax? It's when air gets into the space around the lung where there's normally no air at all. That space is called the pleural space. And when air enters it, it puts pressure on the lung and makes it collapse either a little or a lot. This can happen because of an injury, a burst lung bubble called a bleb, or even just after doing something like inserting a central line. Sometimes it even happens out of nowhere, especially in tall, skinny people. The cool part? Once you understand what's happening inside the chest, the changes you see on the x-ray make total sense. The key principle is this. Air has no density on x-ray, it shows up black, radiolucent. The lung, on the other hand, contains vessels and tissues, these cast shadows, so we see markings. Let's build up the signs one by one. First, loss of lung markings. In a normal x-ray, the lung field contains fine vascular markings. These reach all the way to the edges. But when free air enters the pleural space, it separates the lung from the chest wall. This creates a region of pure air with no vessels, which appears as a dark, featureless zone. It's usually at the top or outer edges of the lung because air rises when the patient is upright. Air rises so it first collects in apical or lateral subpleural areas. That's where you check first, even in subtle cases. Next, the pleural line. As the lung collapses, the edge of the lung becomes visible. This appears as a fine, sharp, white line. That's the visceral pleura. Beyond this line, you see nothing, just blackness. No vessels, no bronchi, just air. This is your classic lung edge, and it's a definitive sign. If you see a white line not connected to ribs or heart, and beyond it is black, it's not normal lung. It's free pleural air. Third, collapsed lung appearance. As air accumulates, it pushes the lung inward. The lung may appear hazy, denser, and shriveled toward the hilum. This is the actual collapsed lung. In large pneumothoraxes, it can look like a dense soft tissue ball in the middle of the chest. The smaller the visible lung, the larger the pneumothorax. But even small pneumothoraxes can be dangerous in patients on ventilators. Now, the additional signs to look for? If pressure builds up rapidly, the air cannot escape. We call it a tension pneumothorax. This is a medical emergency. You'll see there is mediastinal shift away from the affected side. Also, depressed diaphragm and widened intercostal spaces. Often, tachycardia and hypotension on exam. Why it happens? Air keeps entering the pleural space with each breath, but doesn't exit. This builds pressure and pushes the heart, vessels, and other lung away. It's not just collapse now, it's cardiac compression. That's why this kills. Let's apply what we just learned to a real case. Look at the right lung field. No lung markings in the upper lateral zone. A visible pleural line, this is the collapsed lung edge. Air beyond the line, completely black, and slight mediastinal shift to the left. Diagnosis. Right-sided pneumothorax with early tension features. Let's wrap up with a quick recap using our line method. L stands for lung markings disappear. In the area filled with air, those fine vascular markings are gone. I is for interface line. That sharp white line you see, that's the edge of the collapsed lung. N stands for no lung expansion. The lung has retracted toward the hilum, unable to expand. And E? That's for extra signs and tension pneumothorax. Think mediastinal shift in a flattened diaphragm. That's the line mnemonic. Learn it, remember it, and you'll never miss a pneumothorax again. And if you want to explore pneumothorax in more depth, including real x-rays, case-based explanations, and interactive visuals, head over to ecgkid.com. You'll also find free downloadable resources made just for medical learners like you. Click the link below or visit our website and take your understanding to the next level. Thank you.